Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. And this is the Kaylee RDA, RSA, RDA rebuildable dripping atomizer, or it can be a rebuildable squonking atomizer. That's what the RSA stands for. So we're going to look at this. It comes with so many extras. I'm talking about extra, extra, extra. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff that it comes with. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are with the Kaylee RDA RSA by QP Designs. This is the box that it comes in. This was actually purchased for me from one of my subscribers so that I can review it and actually try it out. And I, yeah, you'll see. Um, it's a 24 millimeter diameter um, atomizer. It does have a really deep juice well. It's got a postless deck and it comes with a whole bunch of extras. So we're gonna go ahead and go through that. It does only come in black and stainless steel. Um, they do have a Facebook, it is QP Design, and they are, um, this is designed in Canada. Um, but let me tell you something, it got here in like a week. That was so fast. So you open it up and you take a look at it. And this is the box that it comes in. I've got the black one, so it does come with the black top and the black okay, and then cap. it also comes with this Ultim cap and barrel. Um, so that you can do it this way, or you can do the frosted cap and barrel, and it goes like this, and like this, and all you do is you just put it on. Also, you can switch them out. Like say, for instance, I want this um, frosted one on the black, I can do that, or vice versa. That's what I love about this so far. Um, right from the get, when I saw that, options, options, options. Wendy loves her options, so that was awesome. Um, you do get a baggie, a spare baggie here, and this does come with some extra grub screws. You do have a squonking pin. I'm not going to be setting it up to squonk today. Um, I'm actually going to, I actually just cleaned it out just to do this review because I've been using it. Um, it does come with two Allen keys. One is for the grub screws. One is for um, the squonk pin when you're going to insert it. And then of course your extra O-rings. And then we've got the start of the show, which I'm sure that you want to see. This is the black RDA. The silver would come with silver, but still the black top. Um, it does say QP Designs right here. And on this side, it does say Kaylee because it is Kaylee. And it says Kaylee RDA, QP Design, and my serial number. It does have side airflow. It's got three here and three here. Whatever you do to one side will um, happen to the other. And all you do is just twist your top cap. It's kind of hard to see because it's black. And then it'll close it off or it will open it up. And that's how that works. And then let's go ahead and look at the drip tip. The drip tip is one piece. So there is, sorry, I told you I cleaned it. There is no way that you can put like an 810 drip tip or a 510 drip tip. It does come just like this. So it is does have the conical design for flavor and it does give good flavor, I'll tell you for sure. Um, it's got one single O-ring here and then you've got the... Um, the, again, wet. Then you've got the barrel. This is the inside of the barrel. It's stainless on the inside and then black on the outside. It is a polished black, so it is nice and shiny. And then this is the deck that it comes with. It does have the four post holes. It's got two here, two there. Um, it does say Kaylee there. It's pretty it does have deep. a really this good is... deep juice well. It's like five or six millimeters deep. So that's really, really good. So um, if you're squonking it, it's gonna come up, it's gonna saturate it really, really well, and then drip down. So you've got all this space here. Um, your cotton's gonna go here and here, and your coils will go here and here. Those are your um, screws, your Allen keys, your Allen screws, your nut grub screws are there. And then it does have these two O-rings on here, and then the black base to match the cap and barrel. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. Now I will tell you, I do like the black, but I have been rocking the frosted. If you haven't seen any of my pictures, yeah, I really like the frosted on this particular mod. This is the custom box mod that I got from Big Mike's box mod. Um, the video is actually under, or in my, um, my channel, so you can actually see it. But yeah, so that's what you have here. And then all you have to do is look out they're pretty, to me, they're pretty wide um, post holes. So that's that one. And then you can do this one and then do the other side. And we're gonna build in this. I actually took my build out just for you guys so that you guys could see this RDA because it is so worth it. Um, 
Joshua said that I was going to love it, and he was not wrong. He, I, I absolutely do love it. Um, what I'm actually rocking in this is actually some Fuse Claptons by Coil Clout. These are um, 2 times 26 um, gauge with um, 36 over it, and they're freaking amazing, amazing, amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. And I'm going to show you how to do it again with any type of postless type of situation. You are going to have to like eyeball it and then cut your leads so that um, they fit just right. And I always suggest cutting them a little bit longer so that that way, if you have to shorten them up, um, you're not over shortening them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to put this on my handy dandy screwdriver as I usually do so that I can cut these leads and get my clippers. And I'm gonna cut them to about like right here. And then I'll try it out and see how that works. Okay, because this is gonna be kind of similar to the drop in the sense of you're actually gonna just be putting your coils more to the center. So um, if you have the drop, it's very similar. So you want them long enough to where you can actually reach them out a little bit. Um, to get them a little bit towards the center. So this to me is actually perfectly cut right there. So I can actually go ahead and bend it once they're in there. I'm just gonna cut them just a tap, just tiny, 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 tiny bit more. And then I'm gonna cut the other one. So just a tiny bit more here, tiny bit more here. And then I'm gonna put the other one on and we're gonna cut it the same. That way I don't have to worry about it later. There we go. And I just put them next to each other so that I can eyeball it and just cut them about the same length. So I put it next to that one and then just slide over here and do that one. There we go. And those are done. I'm gonna bring it over here. We'll go ahead and put those on. Again, we're gonna put them on the same side right here. I'm gonna leave it right about there and I'm gonna screw that down. And I'll tighten them up afterward. I just want to have it placed. So I can put my other one. There we go. And put the other coil. That in there. Oops. I know they fit because I already had them in there before. They're used now. <laughs> and just tighten that one down. I'm going to actually fully tighten it a little bit more after I position my coils. And what you're going to do is just straighten it out. Straighten up this one. And I'm just going to pull them down to the center a little bit. It would help if I'm on camera, right? I'm just like looking at it like if I'm doing it by myself. And I pull this one down a little bit to the center. So that they're close, but they're not touching. I don't want them too close because I do want when I drip through the top of the, the barrel or the drip tip, that it's gonna go down here and then wet the wicks. So I like it like that. They're pretty much even, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these up. And yes, I know that there's an Allen key in there. I just didn't wanna take it out of the bag. <laughs> when I have all these over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that these are tightened down and then we'll start dry firing them and then I'll show you how to wick this baby up. So there we go. Nice and even. I like it, I like it a lot. I'm gonna move this one a little, I know that you see me eyeballing it, right? I'm actually gonna move this one just a tiny bit more in because that was bothering me. So let's go ahead and start dry firing this. And these again are my Fuse Claptons, quote, quote, Fuse Claptons. And they last forever, so. I only took them out because of you guys. My RDA is still wet, that's why it's smoking like that. Because like I told you, I literally just took my build out. Look, I even have proof. There's my old coils that I just took out. Yep. So I took them out just for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze these. Let them light up. Okay. Turn it up just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna bring this out just a little bit. Oops, I hate when I do that. I like to space them just a little bit. I usually do this beforehand, but I feel like doing it now because that's what Wendy does. Wendy does the most difficult things when she wants. 
Here we go, yeah. Okay. Lightly strum them if they're not going evenly. And then just keep pulsing. And then we can pinch them. And pinch and pulse until they fully light up. They're starting to glow and they get that pretty shade of blue to match my box. I swear, I think I use this box just to match my coils. <laughs> Yep, here we go. Almost done. It's almost there. Getting all the hot spots out. Okay, I'm gonna glow. The hot spot there. Just messed with that a little bit. Look at the colors. You see what I mean? And there they are. Perfect. Let's go ahead and wick this up. So today for my cotton, I do have my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. Oh, by the way, just in case, because people always ask, it is only at a 0.15. And on here, it does say that the pair should be like a 0.16 to 0.18. So it's perfect for me. And those colors are absolutely gorgeous. Let me go ahead and cut some cotton and we'll start okay, with so I'm them. just going to rip apart some cotton. Just twist that up. Feels a little bit thick. I'll take some of this off. There we go. Usually I can pretty much feel the difference of if it's too thick or too thin. I'll go ahead and do that. Twist up the end. Put that in here. Pull it through. There we go. Perfectly. Not too tight, not too loose. We'll do the other side. A little bit off of here. And I always twist it from the center out. That way it'll lengthen it too. If you cut it too short or take too much off of your cotton, that's usually the best way to do it. Because it literally stretches it out a little bit. See, just from the inside out. Put that one through. Again, not too tight, not too loose. Perfect. And then of course, as I always do, I am gonna go ahead and just fluff out my cotton. And fluff out my cotton. And then we'll go ahead and cut. So I'm gonna get my scissors, there we are. I'm gonna cut it right back, right to the O-rings right here. So right about there. And if I need it shorter, I can make them shorter. That's what I'm gonna do for now. And do it to the O-rings. Extra over here. Okay. This one does look a little bit longer. That's okay. All right. So I've got my handy dandy tweezers. I'm gonna fluff it out just a little bit more. I just feel like it soaks up e-liquid a lot better when you fluff them out rather than have them too stiff. Um, because it's harder for the juice to travel up the cotton into the coils when it's too thick. So that's why I actually fluff them out. But then again, you don't want it too thin either. So here we go. And then we're just gonna go ahead and lay it inside like that. And on this side, just lay it on the side. And there we go. Get all the stragglies gone. There we go. And see, really, really deep really really beautiful so for today's e-liquid i am actually a little bit i think i'm gonna try some new i just did a review on this um it's either already up or it will be up and this is from top 40 e-liquids oh my god this is radioactive the pink lemonade but it tastes it's like um berries in lemonade and oh my god the flavor of the berries is so naturally sweet with this lemonade, I have to have it. So yeah, we're we're gonna we're definitely gonna be using this one. And again, this is top 40 e-liquids. So I'm just gonna turn that up, open this up. Let's go ahead and start wetting the coil so that we can get the juice inside the coil to the cotton so that we can actually um, make sure that we're not getting any kind of ramp up time or anything is needed because we're gonna have the cotton totally saturated from the inside out. There we 
go. A little bit more here. Oh yeah. And see when I drip through the cap, I just drip it right in the middle and it wets the wicks perfectly. Like there's no problem. And I can get a lot of pulls out of it too without having to re-drip. So yep, yeah, so that's that. Again, like I told you, I do like the frosted, so I am actually gonna change it out to this frosted cap and barrel. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this where the airflow is lined up with the coils. And that is how it looks with the frosted cap. And then this is how it looks with the black cap. If I want the black cap, I really like the frosted. So for something different, I'm actually gonna be using the frosted. So that's that and um, I'll meet you up top. Okay, so here we are back on top. Let's go ahead and have a vape. Yum, flavor and clouds. Let me tell you something. Joshua told me on one of my live streams, he said, you have to try the Kaylee. And I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he actually, donated on my one of my live streams the money so I can get the Kaylee RDA. These are a little bit pricier than normal RDAs. This one is $69.99, um, but it's got so many extras. As you saw down below, you can do it with the black cap, you can do it with the frosted cap, you can do it with the Ultim cap. You can interchange the caps. Like if I want this with like the black cap, I can do it. If I want this with the frosted cap, I can do it. So you've got so many options. You can do your coils any way that you want. This is actually, you know, as I showed you, the way that I do them, and I've been getting tremendous flavor, tremendous clouds. Um, the airflow is adjustable by the um, drip tip, so you just wanna turn the drip tip, and it'll turn your airflow, and you can close it down. Um, I personally like my airflow wide open. That's how I vape it, um, and I love it. <sighs> Clouds and flavor for days. I'm talking about cloud. No, you don't have to try to make a cloud. Well, I don't have to try to make a cloud and I get clouds. It's like amazing. The flavor comes through perfectly. Um, if you put the coils the way that I put it, it's not too far in, it's not too far out. It's just perfect. Um, you can always, you know, put them any way that you want. This is the way that works for me personally and it's working beautifully um i do love these again this is a qp qp design dot ca they're a can canadian company um and i ordered it and i got it in a week which i was really really surprised i thought it was going to take longer since it's coming from canada didn't take long at all so i do like that it is one of my newest favorite rdas now um because it's so easy to build on and the flavor and the clouds are amazing and i'm a flavor cloud chaser i love my flavor but i gotta have my clouds too and this does it for me so um yeah one more yum again this is top 40 e-liquids this is the radioactive and it's actually um a pink lemonade but it's berries and oh, it's really really good um, but yeah, so if you like the video, <laughs> instead of me going on and on and on, um, let me see, what else did I have? I think I went over everything. Yeah, the, oh, there's there's two cons that I have. You can't change your drip tip. I, I like customizing my drip tips, as you've seen before, or any of my pictures, or my, any of my social media, or my past um, reviews. I do like to change my drip tips, but you can't change this, but... Even though I can't change it, I still really like it. Um, it's comfortable. It's not, It's it tapers down in the middle, so it's not like totally round, you know, full and open, but it works. It, you, and another, well, let me say the cons first. Um, so it's the drip tip, that's basically it. Um, the only other con I would say is, um, actually, no, that's the only con. That's the only con I have. Other than, you know, it's been mentioned. Okay, so I'm going to show you. It has been mentioned. Um, this is the Ultim one. The Ultim one, the colors on the tip don't necessarily match the barrel. To me, it doesn't matter as long as they're the same color scheme. But for some, that might be an issue. But you don't have to use it. You've got the black. You've got the frosted. So it's really just, to me, it's not really that important. 
I don't like the Ultim color personally, so I won't be using it. So even if it did match, it wouldn't matter to me. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that. The pros that I have, easy to build on, very, very easy to build on. You've got all these extras, extras everywhere. I mean, extras are everywhere. Um, and you can mix and match. You can mix and match them any way that you want. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. You can drip right down the middle and you're filling it up. I mean, literally, I just blow my juice in the middle and it's there. Like, look, oops, there we go. See, just blot right down the middle and it evenly disperses. I actually dripped on the outside first, so yeah. Um, of course, you're not gonna get any leaking because it is side airflow. Um, I do like that you can adjust it just by the cap and it's really, really easy to turn. Um, it doesn't have any locking feature on the barrel, so of course, if you turn it the other way, it, it's probably gonna unscrew from your atomizer, but that's just a norm. Um, the locking caps just started, our locking barrels just started recently, like really heavy duty, so. I love the clouds, I love the flavor. I think that it's just awesome. Um, it's, like I said, it's a little bit pricier than $29, $30, but you get so many extras and you can interchange it, you can make it yours, and that to me is awesome. Um, I love another pro, big, big pro, is the drip tip that comes with it, no matter if you have this one, the black or the Ultim, does not get hot. No matter if you're chain vaping or not, sometimes, depending on the coils, like mine is a 0.15, but even if it was lower, um, it doesn't get hot. That to me is a huge pro. I don't like vaping and then you go and you touch your lip and you're like, oh, you know, because it burns your lip. It doesn't have that problem. So I think that that's really, really another huge pro that I did want to mention. And um, it comes in the black and the stainless and you've got so many options and it looks great on my box. So yeah, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification, even if you're already a current subscriber and you had to hit before because they have been coming off. Um, all my links to my social media will be down below as well as where you can get this. Um, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. I'm happy to answer them for you. Please check out um, my Facebook groups. I do have Wendy Vapes Hangout, and I also have a brand new one that is for the LGBTQ plus community. So those links are also down below as well as my Patreon page. So until the next one.